Hey guys, uh, it's 2021. I am back uh, today. I am coming to you from my first rental property that I bought back in January. Um, the lady, however, had to stay for about two months before um, she, her house was ready to move in. So, um, so that's why I just got the keys literally yesterday. Um, even though I owned it for pretty much for the last two months. Um, so I am here today because we are getting ready to get these updates done and finished. Plan is in three about three weeks to get this up and ready. Um, again, this will be my first rental. So I know um, if you guys watched it, everything up to this point was a flip house, which means I would buy it fix it up, sell it with anywhere between three to six months, um, and then move on. So this one, just the reason why um, I wanted to kind of start going this route, um, if you have followed the market, the house prices have been going up. Therefore, it is really hard to find a house that you can buy, fix, and resell um, with any like a decent you know anything with a profit margin uh, because you're gonna either get outbid by people that are buying a house for rent and hold it or just people that you know they fix it themselves and just live in it um, so that's that's just that so this is why I kind of started doing this um, I got lucky uh, the reason why is because this house I got for a 1% of its or less than 1% of its rent. So if you guys are familiar with that, there's a 1% rule that has the um, I've kind of following. So I buy a house and the purchase price is literally 1% of my monthly rent. So example, if my rent, if I'm gonna rent this one for $130,000, I mean $1,300 a month, uh, my purchase price should be about 130 or 120 or 130 once everything is set and done. Um, so I wound up buying this house for about 120. Uh, I think anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars to put into this to get this ready. Um, you know, so I'm right at that one percent. Again, with these prices going up, um, you know, people are really paying. You know you know one and a quarter uh, to even one and a half just because the rates are, the rates are so low and the inventory is so high um, on a side note um, this lily past year um, i did uh, because of the covid um, i had about three months uh, where i was off uh, so i winded up getting also my real estate license guys. Um, the reason why is because um, I wanted to actually be able to look for my own houses. Um, I am associated with a real estate agency here in uh, Missouri. So um, also, so, um, so it kind of, it's almost like being a dealership, right? You have access to stuff that regular person wouldn't have. You, you have the tools, you have, better resources so yes i do have to pay for it because i have to maintain the membership um you know all that fun stuff i have to take the classes i have to get license i have to maintain the license um all, all that fun stuff but again just because um i i get now um since i'm with the real estate office i also have a team about 20 realtors that i can go and you know hopefully be able to get first dibs on something that they have coming up in the real estate market so so hopefully this will kind of that's that's the plan um, with that um, and then hopefully maybe go from there you know start actually selling a house or two um, you never know but um, so I'm, that's what I've been doing for the last since about March um, but back to the house so again i'm meeting with a couple contracts today to see to get the first estimates on the paint carpet uh, the house itself it's really beautiful um if you guys are from kansas city 
Um, the house is in Raytown. It is literally about five minutes away from Arrowhead and the Kansas City Chiefs and the Royals. So um, it's also next to elementary school in Raytown. Um, so it's it's a great location overall. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. Uh, it is listed as a two bedroom, two bath. However, downstairs, um, downstairs does have two bedrooms as well. They are not conforming, which means it doesn't have a window, but it's still nonetheless two bedrooms. So all in all, it's, you know, pretty much full, you know, you, you can have a downstairs and upstairs comfortably. So, um, so that's, that's, uh, overall it's, it's a really nice house, but, um, uh, so yeah, but again, the plan is to get to where I can list it for rent in about three weeks. So again, um, I will post a video once everything is set and done. Um, you know, but, um, and then see, see what we can get out of it and what it looks like. But I just want to make a quick kind of, you know, since I haven't posted a video in a long time, um, I wanted to just kind of take this opportunity and kind of make another one, um, for, for the new year. So, but, so this is, this is one and we'll, we'll go for there and see what 2021 brings guys. Again, if you're new to the channel. Um, I do also go to car shows, um, um, so this is my channel kind of consists of real estate stuff, um, coupled with, Hey, what do I do to be able, cause you know, do the things that I want to do. Um, I do want a GTR, so I do go to car shows. Um, but this is kind of the back side of what can I do, um, and what allows me to do the things that I want to do. So, um, so again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel or if you're new, please uh, do so. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. And um, I hope you guys see you here pretty, pretty soon in a couple of weeks uh, with a follow-up. So again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day.